Hello people, uh, welcome to another video. I'm out today with a, a local local friend of mine, which we found each other over YouTube. Meet Scott. Hello. Uh, Scott lives very close to me, and we uh, kind of off the cuff um, arranged a quick trip. Well, I won't say quick; it's quite a long trip actually. Um, we're out for four days, and we've come as traditional as possible. We've got canvas packs, wool blankets, canvas tops, the lot. They weigh an absolute ton. They're not. They're not fun to carry. <laughs> but we're. Uh, it's only like forty to fifty tons. That's right. <laughs> we're not trying to cover like miles. We're just literally pondering about and um, just enjoying ourselves really. So we're currently sitting uh, by this little river that opens up down there to uh, to a, a big lake, and we're out for four days. So we literally have no idea what we're planning to do. We haven't got a route or anything. We're just we're walking that way. And seeing uh, where our feet take us, pretty much. So I'm going to record the whole thing and just kind of make some rough ass documentary. Nothing, nothing spectacular. But if you want to follow, you're more than welcome. So off we go. There's a cap. If there's a cap on the top of a hill. In the middle of There's definitely going to be a cafe. There's got to be a cafe here. Because if not, she's got the wrong idea. Say your prayers, little one. Don't forget my son. Just got everything on it. You've got hills, you've got woodlands, you've got water, you've got nice walkable paths. It's just... Ain't just a pretty face. So we've been following this path for a couple of miles. I don't know how many miles. Um, these packs are pretty... We're both carrying the LK35. And uh, it seems to be quite a popular pack lately after MTQ Bushcraft. And uh, they're really nice packs. Um, but we're obviously testing them out here because we're carrying some serious weight. And you can feel it on your shoulders, but... Um, it's got some modified... Uh, like a belt strap, it's some webbing and a buckle. Cheap webbing. So I've made myself some kind of canvas one with some foam and a leather strap. Comfort. A bit more comfort. But um, yeah, that definitely helps. Definitely takes some of the weight off. But, yeah, it's not too bad at all really, but like I say, we're not trying to cover miles. We're not walking very fast, we're just pondering about. So yeah, we're going to keep going, following this river and seeing what's at the end really. Yeah, we've just found dinner at 12 o'clock. Anybody up for a beef burger? Yeah, I literally just saw these cows and thought they were bears. <laughs> Don't know. I shouldn't admit that. I sound so retarded, but it was true. What kind of cows are these? I used to know my cows really well. Literally, I'm well clue. Oh, it's so peaceful here. They're just not even bothered about us. Roll. We're currently navigating streams and larger streams, trying to make our way around the forest. It's very wet, and I haven't got the best waterproof shoes on in the world. <coughs> oh my god. Ankle breaking territory. I'm trying to get into this bit of woodland here, because we want to camp next to the water. So that was fairly unsuccessful. We got all the way to the side and couldn't get any further. So we've had to come back. Are we going to get back on the path or just follow this way? Yeah, pretty much. Oh, my feet hurting after those riverbed rocks. Oh, it gets boggy here. Oh no. Commitment. Commitment. Oh. So 
Let's get forward there. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Right then. So we need to get over there. And there's water in the way. So we're uh, we're doing it. I'm gonna get this shit did. Oops, again, it's been so uh, this is gonna be fun. Go Scott, go! So that was absolute utter pain. <laughs> it was like horribly cold. Oh god, it hurts. I can't feel my feet. But we've got to cross. Oh, Jesus Christ. That was, it was like, as, you, as you got further across, it got colder and colder, so the pain got more and more. So you walk slower and slower. <laughs> you imagine if that was a bigger river. <laughs> Jesus. It's a stream compared to it. It's just like a fast flowing void stream, isn't it? Oh, I tell you, I need a drink now. Okay, so we are at our camp, which shows where we want to stay for the night. I've got a bastard of a paper cut, and I don't know where I've got it from, but it really hurts. Um, basically in a bit of a V-shape, like the stream, the stream's coming this way and cutting in between us. So, uh, it's going to be a really nice little spot. Generally when I'm camping, I try and always be by water source because it just makes everything easier. So we're just having a breather. I reckon we've got about an hour before the sun goes down. Get set up and get some firewood. Right then, you join us back a few hours later. We're all set up now. Just uh, preparing a little bit of firewood. And we've got, this is what we've got cut so far. And we're uh, Oh god, I'm dropping the camera. Um, the good thing about here is there's a lot of driftwood. Like there's a, it's really easy to collect and source pretty quick, but it's going to burn pretty fast because of how dry it is. But it's been a very quick collection, so we've been working on that. So I'll show you around camp for a couple of seconds. This is uh, my top. This is Scott's setup here. And then we're having a fire pit here. Pretty sweet. We are both using just raw blankets tonight, or for this entire trip. So, we're probably going to die. Um, it's usually dropped to about 5 6 degrees. We both brought our biggest, thickest wool blankets. Planning to sleep fully closed. And, uh, We'll see how it goes. I'm, uh, I'm quietly confident. I'm not too worried about it. But I said, like, I just want to go as traditional as possible and see how we fare. Um, if all goes to shit, the car's not too far away. We can, <laughs> we could get back if we need to. So yeah, uh, we're going to get on with some fire collection and then we'll uh, get the fire going. We're now saying goodbye to the sun. It's just going down beyond that hill now. The valley's going to be in darkness. And then we've uh, and then we've got the fire to keep us uh, warm and lit. Oh, it's gone. Look, one more poke, and she's gone. No more sun. Right there. Something's wrong, shut the light, heavy talk tonight, and they aren't of Snow White. Dreams of wars, dreams of liars, dreams of dragons, fire, and the things that will buy. Sleep with one eye open, gripping your pillow tight.
So uh, the fire is well away now. I set up a little bit of an upside down fire. Not massive, but we had quite a few damp logs, so we've put them right at the bottom and then worked up the dry stuff. So we're going to have to tend to that for uh, an hour or two. It's actually getting on to be quite late now. We're, we're getting on for 9 o'clock, we've only just lit the fire. So we're going to get our stew on. And then, uh, I don't know, see what happens. <laughs> Okay, we are heading in for the night. We'll see how the night, uh, how the night goes. Probably going to be a bit of a gold one, but we'll see. We've got a wool blanket ready to wrap up in, get a few layers around us, so we should be okay. But uh, we'll catch you in the morning and I'll uh, let you know how we got on. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, good morning, folks. Um, I can't say because I'm getting smoked out by the fire, but uh, we had a pretty successful night. It was a little bit chilly, I won't lie to you. We were both slightly cold at, <laughs> at, at points. Um, so much so, I had to get a small fire under the tarp. Scott managed to cope, I don't know how. Um, <laughs> Freezing to death, shivering all night. <laughs> Cause it did drop a little bit colder than we were expecting. Um, but for tomorrow night, we're going to... Um, I think we're going to try and figure out some kind of way to lean to, facing each other and get a fire in between us, and we'll be absolutely toasty. Um, we didn't know what to expect, really, because it's all... You can you can judge the, the temperature on, on, like... on the web, on the internet. But it all depends what the situation's like, whether you've got... Well, I had quite a bit of a breeze coming in. And you can't really contend with that. Um, like it wasn't there when I set up, and it just changed in the night. So yeah, you can't really. You just got to see what the weather brings, really. So yeah, we've got our porridge on the go. Porridge. And um, we're gonna set off down that way this morning, I think, and then we'll head away back around to the right. And I don't even know where we're going to end up tomorrow not tonight, but, uh, yeah. I know I've said it a few times in videos, but um, I do think it's really important to tidy up your fire properly after you've been camping. Um, I know I say it a lot, I say it in most of my videos, but I just think, I see it so, so often where I come to a campsite where I know people have been, and there were just half burnt logs just scattered everywhere because they can't be bothered to burn them off in the morning. And it's, I know it's a pain, you know, I don't like doing it, but if you've got burnt big logs, you need to burn them off. Get some smaller twigs like I've got here and burn them off to the point where you can crush them down into ash and then throw them, throw them away. Um, I just don't think it's good enough just getting a big burnt log and shoving it in the ground and trying to bury it. I don't think, I don't think that's the best way to do it. I know it's hard work and it's the last thing you want to be doing in the morning, but I just think if you want the privilege of being able to have a fire, you should tidy up properly. Okay, so we're coming into back into what was camp. Nice and tidy. Proper job. No fire scars. No summer here, really. We haven't even uh, left any firewood or anything, so. Nice, tidy job. So we're um, 
we're heading off in that direction and there's a homestead nearby so we're gonna have a little look at that because I didn't think homesteading was a thing in this country so we're gonna have a little peek see what it is in terms of so, so when I think of homestead I think America big homestead so we have a little look see what that's about um, so yeah time to haul on the old the old mistresses and uh, crack on So we've just got to the lake and we're just discussing how vast the valley feels compared to being at home. We are literally surrounded by fells, 360 degrees. It's pretty madness, pretty mental. Okay, so we are, we started off down that furthest point this morning. We've worked our way around the lake and we are currently about to ascend a gruesome path. I'll show you that in a minute. It's going to be utter pain with these packs on, but we've got to get up there to get round, to get back over to there for tonight. That's the plan. Um, so we just had a water stop, filled up with the soyas, and um, yeah. Oh, I don't know if I've showed you, but I made a made a weight strap for the uh, for the LK LK35. So that improves it. Oh, I think. Oh yeah, I, I have already showed you that. I do recall now. What are you doing, mate? Breaking stuff, ain't I? Oh God! <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Utter pain. Right then, so we've been uh, battered by the wind for an hour or so now. Uh, we've just had to set this tarp up to uh, get out of the wind for a bit to have some lunch. But uh, look at this, it's like constant wind. It's a tarp, it's mental. But yeah, we're pretty uh, sound as a pan right now. So it's nice to get the wind off for five minutes. Scott's got himself a lovely ploughman's lunch. All wrapped nicely. Oh, look at this. That's disgusting. Choo cheddar. Disgustingly good. <laughs> oh, God, this wind is relentless. I hope it's not like this tonight. Oh, my crackers are broken. <laughs> it's broke his crackers. Oh, 
so it wasn't too long ago that, I, uh, that we were over there and I was pointing over here saying that's where we're trying to get to. So we're nearly there, just gotta cut around this corner now and we'll be at the woodland where we're gonna try and find a camp for the night. Oh yeah. Uh, all being well, we should be meeting another YouTuber here um, tonight. Whether he's gonna find us or not, I don't know because we haven't really planned it very well. Um, I've told him what road to meet us on, but where on that road and what time and what car he's driving, I have no idea. So we'll see how that goes. But um, yeah, we'll find him at some point. Roshi then, you join us five hours later? Yeah. Several, right. several hours later. Basically everything's gone to shit. Um, I don't even know where to start. Uh, yeah, I don't even know how to explain this, but we're not where we were. We've been driving for an hour. Um, we've now found this woodland. Um, the sun has gone down. We've got maybe 20 minutes to half an hour before the, we're in complete darkness. So we're not even going to bother trying to do anything because look where we are, we're on a hillside. There's not exactly a flat to camp. Um, we found somewhere potential to camp tomorrow night. So what we're doing tonight is we're going to sleep in the car or try and sleep in the car. And yeah, see how it goes. Um, shit happens, but it's been an adventure. So uh, we're yeah. going to carry on. Um, still got two days of being out here, but we just we just ran out of sunlight now. It'd be dangerous to try and to try and sort anything out now. Um, Right then, so we're currently living out of my car. Um, I've got the noodles on the go, you can't even see if it's that dark. Um, what are you doing? Uh, just getting some sausage together. Cash. Cash. It's, uh, it's dropping cold. And we are both zonked. Just gonna get in there and keep. It's, um, <laughs> this is the trip where everything went wrong. <laughs> no, it's a. Uh, it's gone really well up to midday today, and then um, I can't. How do you explain what went wrong? Like basically, we're waiting for somebody to come, waiting for somebody to come, but then we didn't know where or when we were going to meet them, so we were waiting for them. But then we realised there was nowhere to actually camp, so we were like, "Shit, what we're going to do?" And then we had to leave. But we had to also leave to get signal to connect with the person we're trying to find, thinking they were on the way. It always went a bit tits up, and then we decided we didn't want to go back there because we had nowhere to camp and the weather was a bit bleak. So then we tried to find another woodland, and we've just been looking for ages trying to find a woodland, and we found this one. So um, in the morning, we're gonna hit trail into this massive forest and find somewhere to keep for tomorrow night. So I'm gonna focus on getting my noodles done, so we're running out of gas. I'll catch you in a bit. Yeah, this proper is... bushcrafting. <laughs> Serious bushcrafting. Car crafting. Canvas crew. Canvas crewing. <laughs> canvas, canvas life, you see. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's going to be really interesting to see how well we sleep tonight, but we'll see. To be fair, we're that tired. Yeah, I'm just going to... I'll sleep anywhere. <laughs> it feels oh, like I'd, I'd sleep anywhere apart from out there. <laughs> <laughs> it feels like we're cruising, like oh, I call cool, like <laughs> yeah, canvas crew. Yeah, yeah, it's a canvas crew, you know. That's coming for you now. How are you this morning? Dry, dry. Yeah, that's good. Good <laughs> answer. Good answer. <laughs> so we survived the night. Um, both of us slept surprisingly well. We're I've always had solid ten hours sleep. You woke up a little bit early, didn't you? Rain woke me up. But we are alive and well. Um, we just made a plan for today. Um, we've realised it's going to actually rain um, this late this afternoon. It's going to start raining quite heavily all the way for the night and all the way into Sunday. So we decided there's no point stopping out of the rain. It's just not going to be fun. Um, plus we've got wool blankets and stuff. We're it's not just, prepared. Yeah, we're not prepared it. for that kind of rain. Um, so we're going to go out today. Um, find a nice day camp, sort ourselves out. We've got plenty of food to cook and eat, and should chill out because we've got all right weather today. It's a bit cloudy, it's not going to be sunny, but we'll we'll make do. 
gonna be alright. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, and then leave like this afternoon. Um, it's eight o'clock now, so we're gonna get out the car, sort our kids out, because we haven't got to carry so much. And uh, yeah. let's see what we can find, because we haven't been to this wood yet. We only had a bit of a bushes around last night but before we got dark. So let's hit the road. Right then, so we're out. It's uh, a bit chilly, but we're happy, re-energised. Uh, we're going to try and find somewhere to set up for breakfast, get some bacon on, some bannock, some coffee. Um, it's due to rain very shortly, and I've got no waterproofs. <laughs> uh, the forecast is quite good weather. Um, meh, I'm bothered. Not bothered. So we need to get set up before it starts raining, really. Um, lovely bit of woodland, I tell you. Lovely bit of woodland. Oh, it's a blue tit in that tree. <laughs> Someone's happy. Come on, being all that blooming tinder's bloody soaked. Way. Yeah. Right then, so you join us back at camp. Well, day camp. Um, yeah. I managed to rig up the tarp. Got ourselves a little fire going. Took us a while to get to this stage. The, the, just the weather is relentless today. It's today and yesterday. The wind has just been crazy. As you can probably tell. We're going to stay here, hopefully the wind will die down a little bit. I'm going to chill out for a bit, but we'll see. In the moment we're uh, cooking up some bacon. Got some bannock on the go. Mixing my bannock in a bag. Bit of a tip for you. Save getting messy. Uh, Scott's got the bacon on. Got some sweet potatoes that we're going to chuck in the embers in a bit. Uh, we're making sure we have a massive brunch, aren't we? Pretty much. And then we'll... Uh, Pretty much. I, don't know what head, I don't know what time we're going to head home. We'll no. no idea. No idea. See what happens. Oh. Right then, we've only gone and done the old, good old BBC. Bannock. Uh, bacon and some coffee. We're talking to this now. Oh, it looks so good. And we've got some uh, sweet taters on, on fire like. You chucking in? No holding, no holding back. <laughs> oh man, that looks so good. Uh, oh, sun's out. Sun's out, guns out. Something I've been meaning to mention um, since I started this video and I keep forgetting is canvas top you might notice it's a new one um, I've decided not to use the tenth one anymore because just what there was a few things that needed modifying on it and uh, I can't bother with the detail at the minute because I'm gonna make a video on it anyway but I've made I have made this top this is my creation it's a bit rough around the edges at the minute because <laughs> I finished I finished sewing it the night before the day we left so there's still some cotton bits uh, all over the place, but we've got um, bigger tie outs and things on this one, and more tie outs in the middle and stuff. Eight by eight feet, so it's pretty sweet, man. Uh, it's pretty much the perfect top, apart from the fact it weighs a ton. <laughs> but um, I love it. So just thought I'd show you that, share that with you. It's pretty nice. I like it. Okay, just want to show you uh, another really good, re really, another really good thing about these bloody LK35 rucksacks is you can put a stick up to the frame there, and it creates chairs. As Scott is a, uh, is trolling it for us. Because one of the things about these, one of the things about being outdoors, I don't know if you realise, is that there's never anywhere for you to lie. But unless you're in a hammock, there's never anything for you to lean on comfortably. Like you can lean against a tree. 
it's never quite right because it's obviously straight. You haven't got that nice purchase. Where these, and obviously because you've got the webbing straps, it's just literally like, it's a perfect chair. No, isn't it? It's comfy. We found that out the other night, but I forgot to show you. They are the shit. So we are quite comfy here now with uh, now the wind's dropped down. Oh, give me chair, like. Looks like a bloody, more like a sun lounger at the minute, but... What yeah. Still got the taters on. Taters on fire and they've been there for like three years. Oh, that hot chocolate. Did it work? Yeah. I don't know what I've got back in me back. Let's check out the other sack. Never bring in a of hot chocolate again. I think it's chocolate and just it Oh! Bony bears. Mate, have you ever had a bony bear? No. You haven't lived. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I just thought I'd uh, video Scott's uh, introduction to the bony bear life. Shit. Right, open that up. Enjoy this beautiful specimen. <laughs> it's the future, I'm telling you. It is the future. Let's, let's just test. This is the bear. It's like a sponge. It's a sponge. What's, what? in, what's in the middle? Find out. Just good miss, isn't it? Oh! <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> oh, God. oh God, I'm gonna stop. Show, show the people. No! Oh. <laughs> Give me chocolate goodies. Oh, so good. It's like ne it's like um, I think it's about Nescaf in it, isn't it? No, no, Nescaf's for the chocolate. It's by Nessa. What's the chocolate company called? Nestle. Nestle, I think they're the Nestle. I think. I might be wrong. The sweet potatoes are done. They're a bit black like that, but see if we'll come up and that there. And we'll get into this, like. I've got my glove, where's my glove? Oh, the wind. Oh! Oh my god! <laughs> Oh, oh mate, oh. look at that! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's goodness right there. That is fucking goodness right there. Oh, it was worth the wait, wasn't it? You don't get this shit hammock camping. You man. don't, man. You got You got to carry the weight to eat the weight. Oh man, shit, bitches. Oh god, this has been beautiful. It was worth camping in the car for this. Yeah. Right, I need a spoon. Right then, we have been wandering around for a bit. Been to one of the towns nearby, had a look around, been to some of the shops. We just had some lunch at the back of the car, and it's time to head home for us now. Uh, it's the late afternoon, so we'll get back for the evening. We're supposed to stay another night, but uh, all is not lost. We've had a successful trip, I'd say. A few lessons learned, and uh, a few kind of moderations to make to the kit, but you uh, always get that after trips. But but a good one, it's been fun. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you again very, very soon.